ass West Slope boy. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and today I'm bringing you a nail video using mostly products from a company that I love and stand behind called Red Iguana. The owner was kind enough to reach out to me via DM and she sent me this amazing PR kit which I recorded an unboxing twice but for some reason my camera was corrupt and I had to basically shoot the unboxing like four times and it just was not uploading. So I'm going to try my best to just show you guys what I got. But she sent me this beautiful card. These were all the items that she sent. Um, I had like showed everything individually. I described everything. I was like thanking her and Anna Luisa who sent me the card. And um, I DM'd her like, girl, I tried to do an unboxing, but my camera was just like, no. And by the time I had took everything out, the way she packaged it, it was like not the same. So I was just like, I don't want to like have to do the unboxing. So I'm just going to be using her products. But just know she sent me a bomb ass PR kit. And I'm so thankful because you guys know I like to do all things cosmetology, meaning like hair, nails, makeup. And just the fact that somebody with such a big brand believes in me and wanted to send me something, that really touched my heart. And then the card just really sent me over the edge. So thank you again, April and Ana Luisa. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. If I'm not, I apologize. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Hopefully you already hit that like button and subscribe button. And make sure to follow your girl at on instagram at underscore cassandra olivia so today i'm using her acra gel this is similar to poly gel um but the only thing is it's not as sticky as poly gel which i really like this is super beginner friendly so i'm just going in using my ready to go on a practice hand you guys have seen this hand several times before i'm also using this nail brush that i've had by mccart i'm not exactly sure if i got this in like a kit or if it came in like a box or something so i do apologize i don't have the exact link for this brush but i will link ones that are similar in my amazon store so I'm just going in with these dual forms by Red Iguana. They are the C-Curve Full Cover Squares. And basically, there's a few ways that you can use the Acro Gel. So I am going to use it different ways in different videos. This was literally my first time ever using this product. I did go on YouTube and I watched some of their tutorials on the Red Iguana page. And I also went on their um, Instagram page to watch some tutorials. And I felt very comfortable. And she also sends like a little... Um, brochure showing you guys how to use it here I just said I left the part in where I knocked over all the dual forms I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody who does nails and this was just a nail that I did um, I did record it but I was um, trying to do like the the 3d silicone mold for the first time so I did like a little mini recording and posted that and I have shot maybe three or four videos but the quality just wasn't to my liking my lighting had went out on my station and then i also had issues with like my camera and then i just felt like the nails weren't as good as they could have been so this is literally like my fourth time using red iguana products but i just wanted to kind of perfect it a little bit more before i came to you guys with just a basic video okay but this video again is just my first time using the acro gel i'm going in with the shades milky white and then on one of the nails, I am going to use light nude. I initially wanted to go in and do like an ombre effect, but I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So let me just get this down first and then I'll play around with trying to like ombre and blend. But since it was Valentine's Day weekend, I wanted to do something really cute and girly. And she sent me so many things. I was like, oh my God, I want to try to use as many things as I can in the videos. So I'm using the nail um, spatula that she got me to use to scoop out the product for the acro gel. And again, I'm using the dual forms. I'm just doing one nail at a time and I'm just smoothing it out, making sure to cover the entire surface. And then I am curing each nail for two minutes in between. And then right here is the one that I was talking about that is the light nude color. I thought these colors really um, went well together and they're like super beginner friendly. I like the fact that this acro gel is not sticky like poly gel, meaning that sometimes when you use poly gel, it like leaves like a web, like a spider web type of effect and then you get gel everywhere. This pretty much stays put. So it's not like sticky and it doesn't transfer a lot, which I feel like for me is super beginner friendly. So I cured all the nails, this is how they looked. And I'm just peeling off the dual forms now. I did put these nails, um, they're not glued on at all, meaning that they can slide off. So I'm just being super careful, but you will see me like pull them and shift them. I do my nails this way because I have done the glue method where I've glued the tips on and it just takes forever to try to soak them off. So with this method, I can pretty much practice and do the same exact technique. The only difference is these nails do come off and I can literally slide them off after every video, which is more convenient for me. So I'm just going in with the acro gel in the clear to cap the nails. So that way when I go to file them, which I did off camera, um, I'm not filing into that 
that um, milky white and the light nude. So I am capping everything with clear, and then I'm just gonna be sure to clear, um, to cure everything for about two to three minutes, just making sure that it's nice and set. Once I cure this, I am gonna go in and wipe off that tacky layer with the 91% alcohol, and then I'm gonna proceed to do like some freestyle designs. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I have so many new nail products that I got from April, and I just wanted to kind of go in and be creative. So this was a completely freestyle set but i wanted to do something really girly and dainty and because she sent me so many goodies i kind of put aside like four to five items that i wanted to use and then everything else kind of just came into play so i'm going to finish capping these and i'll be back in just a second So I did file the nails off camera. I'm using my Melody Suzy nail drill. I have everything linked in my Amazon store and then I'll be sure to also link the Ready Guana equipment and products that I use individually on her website because why not? She's super bomb. So I will take the time to personally link everything because these products are amazing. So this is the shape that I have and I'm just dusting everything away with this cute little rose duster that I found on Amazon. As you guys can tell, I'm addicted to Amazon and I'm also addicted to Ready Guana. So now I'm just going in with these nail tweezers and I'm just applying these um, rose stickers that she sent me. I knew I wanted to do something like really pink and dainty and girly. And you guys know I love roses. So I wanted to just go ahead and put some of those stickers on. And I am going to cap those with the clear top coat that she put on. Or the no wipe top coat. Let me say that. So initially I did like that nail. But I will go back at the end and add more roses. I just felt like it was a little bit too blah for me. So I did go back in later on so just stick with me bear with me guys um again i'm by no means a professional nail tech like i am a licensed cosmetologist and i worked at a nail salon fresh out of hair school but that was 10 years ago so a little bit rusty but i'm gonna try to step my game up so here i am i'm just applying the ready guana um what is this the um oh my goodness the foil transfer gel and you cure that for 60 seconds and then you apply the foil on top and I'm just going in with this silicone tool and I'm just using this to press press the foil onto that gel that I just adhered. Um, if you miss any spots, you can always go back in and repress the foil back on. But I made sure I pressed this for about like 20 to 30 seconds, being sure that I got every little nook and cranny because I didn't want to do this again. And it came out pretty cute. Um, she did send me these really cute foils. She sent so many different things and I just was like overwhelmed because I'm like, oh my God, I can create so many looks and this everything is just so girly. So I was like, I want to use this foil because it was just speaking to my soul. Again, the nail, you see it sliding out. That's what I'm talking about. Just got to be careful. So now I'm just going in with this um, nail art resin mold and I'm just applying some nail addict gel polish. This is in the shade Sunset Boulevard. And now I'm just going in with some of that Ready Guana Blooming Gel, which this is also my first time using, guys. I'm doing a lot of first things on this video. First time using the Acra Gel, first time using the stickers, first time using the Blooming Gel, first time doing these foils. It's just a lot of firsts, but I was like, I'm about to snap on these nails as best as I possibly can. So I'm just applying some blooming gel to this nail, just a very thin layer, which is why you see me going over it, just making sure that everything's covered. And your girl is going to attempt to draw some roses. I, by any means, am not a professional, like, what is that, artist? <laughs> so I was just kind of watching tutorials and just trying to do my own thing. I will say with this blooming gel, I didn't realize that it blooms fairly quickly, so I just wanted to make sure that I was doing what I need to do. But next time I will just move a little bit faster. I kind of didn't really know how to do the rose at first. So I was just kind of eyeballing it and doing what felt good to me. So I'm fast forwarding through some of this. And I did cut some out just because my hand was in the way. So you couldn't see what I was doing. But just know I was drawing these roses. And then once I got done drawing the initial rose, I did go back and outline the whole entire rose. And then I cured the gel for about 60 seconds. So that way the rose can look more, um, more like there. It's not like so, um, though what is it translucent I guess like the opacity kind of like got thin as it like sat for a while so I want to make sure that you could still see the design which is why I just retraced over my rose again I'm not good at I guess describing what I'm doing I tried to do like a talk through as I was working but I was so focused that at some point I just stopped talking and I just wanted to get the nails done so I'm just trying to go through and explain to you guys as best as I can what I'm doing 
So for this nail, I decided I wanted to play with these new gems that I got off of Amazon. I got like this luxury gem kit and it came with a gem tool. So I'm just going in with the Red Iguana No Wipe Top Coat, coating the nail first because I did want it to be shiny and I wasn't sure what gems I wanted to use. So I wanted to make sure that whatever I did go in with is gonna um, look nice and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to like get the, the top coat around the gem. So I just put it on first just to avoid any like confusion <laughs> so i'm just going in with the heart gems and then in between the heart gems i'm going to add these really really tiny little circle rhinestones i thought they were cute little accents and then i did cure that nail for about 60 seconds so now you just see me going back in i added on a couple more of those roses i used five or six stickers in total i just used like two of the same exact on each one and then one random one just to add a little bit more color so now I'm just going in with the top coat by Red Iguana. This again is a no wipe top coat, meaning that it does not have a tacky layer, which I love because sometimes I do forget to wipe off the tacky layer. Again, beginner nail tech, beginner nail tech issues, okay? So I decided to uh, coat everything with a top coat and cure it for about a minute. I liked how this looked, but I felt like the rose nail that I drew, I wanted to just try something different. So here's how it looked initially. And then I'm just gonna go back and coat that with the Red Iguana matte top coat. And I just wanted to see if that would make a difference for the nails. So before I like jacked anything up, I said, let me show you guys how it looks all shiny. And then I'm just going to go in with the matte, coat that, and then cure it. And I want to see if it was going to give what I thought it was going to give. And the matte just did something to me. Like I was like so obsessed with this nail once I did it matte. I love the set even more. So this is the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening to me and being patient with me with these nail videos. I can't wait to show you guys what I create. Shout out to you at Red Iguana. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.